Hey guys, today we are going to explore this question. Why don't we line up the decimals when we multiply? If you've been adding and subtracting decimals, you know the hard and fast rule is the decimals have to be lined up when you add and subtract those. And then you get to multiplication and we're like, eh, don't worry about it. You don't need to line them up. So why is that? So first of all, we are going to multiply these just like normal. And then I'm going to show you what happens if we multiply them and we make the effort to line up the decimals. All right. So I'm going to go through this really quickly, the normal way we do it. If you need a more in-depth video, I'll have one in the corner for you. Okay, so that is the number I get. And then to figure out where the decimal goes, I count how many are behind the decimal up here. So I have one, two, and three. So I count over one, two, three, and that is where my decimal goes for my answer. Now, let's see what happens if we make the effort of being like, all right, we got to line up the decimals. Let's see what happens. So if I wanted to line these up to multiply, I would do five... 0.12 times 3.60, right? If you've been adding and subtracting these, you're probably used to adding zeros onto the end to make the decimals line up. So let's see what happens when we line up the decimal. So I have zero times two, which gives me zero. Zero times one, zero, zero times five, zero. Okay, great. Then I need my little placeholder for going to the next one. Six times two gives me 12 and you're going to see me using a pencil for my carrying so that I can erase it, which by the way, this is the best mechanical pencil in the world. I'll have a link to it in the description is 12. Six times one gives me six plus one is seven and six times five gives me 30. See, now I can just erase this guy instead of scribbling him out like over here. And then I need to do my two placeholders. Three times two gives me six. Three times one gives me three. And three times five gives me 15. Now I'm going to add these all up. And you might be noticing that these look very similar. They're not exactly the same, right? But they look very similar. So I have zero, two, 13, four, eight, and one. And then to figure out where the decimal goes, I count one, two, three, four. I count over one, two, three, four. And look, guys, 18.4320. But I don't actually need that zero. I can drop it and just get 18.432. Okay, so do you see what happened there? Making the decimals line up just gave me an extra zero that just added a zero on the back that I didn't need. So that's why you don't have to line them up. If you want to, I mean, go for it. <laughs> but just know it isn't necessary to line them up when multiplying. It's not wrong. It's just not needed. So hopefully that made sense. Thanks.